Welcome to part 3 of my Fixing the DCEU video series. In previous episodes I discussed my ideas for characters like Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash and Aquaman on the big screen. This time we will be taking to the stars and introducing two rather important characters, Martian Manhunter and Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. Thanks to his recent appearance on Supergirl, the Martian Manhunter has become quite a popular character as of late. Before this however, a few people might have known him from the Justice League cartoons, but most would actually never really know who he is, leading to writers such as David Goya to say that quote unquote, only virgins know who Martian Manhunter is, in response to fans asking if we would ever see him on the big screen. Martian Manhunter is a rather interesting character in my opinion. His story is very similar to that of Superman's, but still wildly different. His planet didn't explode and still exists, people responsible for his people's death are still very much alive, and he has a rather unique set of powers and weaknesses. Now my version of a film wouldn't have it set in the same time as the other films I have talked about, instead I would opt to set it in the late 1950s, early 1960s, borrowing much from real life events such as the Roswell incident, as well as comic sources like Manhunter's role in Darwin Cook's The New Frontier. John, after escaping to Earth from his burning planet of Mars, crash lands in Roswell, New Mexico, after following a signal. He abandons his ship, running into Saw Erdel, the man responsible for sending the signal out into space. Saul hides John from the government as the Martian regains his health. After nursing him back to good health, Saul is killed by the government while he helps John escape from New Mexico. Years go by and John adopts the identity of John Jones, a private detective in San Francisco. As he investigates a myriad of satanic-like rituals running rampant through the city, he discovers that Malefic, his brother and one responsible for their people's extinction, has come to Earth in search of him, but also also to unleash the Hironmir plague on the world. John battles his brother before he can cause the destruction of his new home, as well as dodge the enigmatic government agency Cadmus, who have been after him since he arrived on Earth. Obviously, this film will have little connection to the other films up until the end, where we time skip into the modern day, showing John is still a detective, although this time he has moved to New York, where he is contacted by a shadowy bat-like figure who seemingly knows who and what he is and threatens to stop him if he steps out of line. As for the director of The Manhunter, I would choose Guillermo del Toro since he has a fantastic grasp on the kind of Lovecraftian macabre horror fantasy that this movie would mainly be like. Of course though it would have hints of sci-fi thrown in there as well. This film would also feature a very small cameo of Batman right at the end of it, who wouldn't have actually been seen up until now in this universe. Universe. Again, Del Toro would be a perfect choice to pull off this small debut as he would be shown as a literal shadow or horror of the night, as something that Batman hasn't really been shown as up until this point. Green Lantern is a character people probably try to forget about mainly thanks to his god-awful 2011 film with Ryan Reynolds. My film would pass up his origin, which would only appear at the beginning of this film for a few moments for a more cosmic buddy cop film showcasing Sector 2814 as more than just Earth, but rather a large expanse of colourful worlds that Hal and his mentor and partner Thal Sinestro patrol. This movie would deal with Hal learning how to use the ring while trying to stop a civil war from breaking out on a faraway planet. The movie wouldn't delve into Sinestro becoming a Yellow Lantern yet, but would still show hints about it and how he takes advantage of his ring and how he can sometimes go overboard with punishments instilling fear in people. Since it takes place in space, the ties to Earth and the other heroes emerging during this phase one wouldn't happen until right at the end of the film, where we learn that Hal Hal stopping the war on the alien planet was in vain as a force we don't see moves in and annihilates the populace. As the only survivor, Hal manages to escape and his ring takes him to Earth, where he is confronted by Superman after crash landing in Metropolis. It is here he warns Superman that people 
wearing similar symbols to him are coming towards Earth. The tone of the film would be quite hardcore sci-fi, featuring many different aliens and weird worlds and weird technologies, but also have a slight comedic tone stemming from the whole buddy cop aspect of it, you know, the good cop, bad cop of Sinestro and Hal. For a director, I would again try and tap J.J. Abrams, as I said when I suggested him for a Superman film, he has the experience to pull off a big blockbuster sci-fi film, especially since Green Lantern would be kind of similar to his Star Trek and Star Wars films. Also, his version of James Kirk in the Star Trek films was rather similar to how Hal Jordan should be played. So there's my take on both Martian Manhunter and Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. I hope you do enjoy these. Uh, I've got one more part left to do, uh, which quite a doozy. I've been writing it out while doing these other parts and sort of connecting everything together and in my opinion it's really cool uh, so I can't wait for you guys to see that remember to comment down below about how you would like to see these characters be portrayed in the films and what you would like to see them do in these films again thank you for joining me Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.